Exciting news for men everywhere. Prostate Cancer Canada and Movember are making available $5 million in funding for three research grants. The money will mean fewer men will have to undergo needless aggressive treatment. Doctors may soon be able to inform patients with prostate cancer whether they have a non-deadly form of the disease. If we could tell people definitively, this is actually, yeah, it's a cancer, but it's a really slow growth cancer. It is not going to kill you. Don't put yourself through surgery. Don't go through radiation. Don't run the risks of incontinence and impotence and, and, and all of the problems that that then leads to in a person's life. If we could do that, man, an incredible gift. And we're close. Research centers in Toronto, Edmonton and Sherbrooke will be trying to come up with this test. Rocco Rossi says it would help make men more comfortable with getting their prostates checked. When it involves the junk in the trunk, guys get pretty uh, edgy about it. Having a definitive test is key. We want to keep you alive. Such a test promises to greatly improve quality of life for men. Having new tools that permit you to obtain a more precise diagnostic, possibly even in a non-invasive way, uh, will necessarily be greatly beneficial to the patient. Researchers say they are very close to devising a test. During the course of this grant, there are, there, there are two stages. Um, so the initial stage, we hope uh, to have this in patients within three years. Uh, and as far as a blood test, uh, we expect these to be available in the clinic within 10 years. Scientists are looking into a specific protein secreted by the prostate gland, which can cause cancer to metastasize. And what's interesting is this protein normally promotes uh, tissue stability, so it promotes the prostate gland, you know, doing its job uh, secreting fluids, and, uh, and at some point during disease progression, it will switch to a migratory state and actually promote the cells migrating out of the prostate and around the body. The five million dollars in funding was made available through money raised by the popular Movember campaign. The three research teams in Edmonton, Toronto and Sherbrooke are all working on different tests but with a common goal to try to determine which prostate cancer patients to monitor and which to treat aggressively. I'm Laura Di Batista for Prostate Cancer Canada.